Hi, this is Jason with Everyday Apple, and in this video, I wanna talk through Apple's photo stream service, which they recently announced is going to be shut down on July 26th, 2023. You may have received an email about this and you're here wondering, what's gonna to happen to all my photos? How do I protect my photos and not lose everything? Well, I'll let you know what why Apple's making this decision and how you can make sure you won't lose your photos. Let's dive right in. So what was Apple's photo stream service anyway? Well, this was a feature that allowed users to automatically sync up their photos with all their other Apple devices. And it basically just stored up to a thousand photos or the last 30 days of photos in the cloud to all of your other devices, only the last 30 days. So it didn't sync all of your photos. Uh, and so when a new photo was taken on one device, it would quickly appear on all the other connected devices. Uh, it was just a convenient way to populate all your uh, photos onto your other devices. So they've decided to shut this down because they want people to use iCloud Photos, a much better option if you uh, want to share photos with all your other devices. So there's seamless syncing. You can collaborate with family members through shared albums and, and more storage capacity. It's a much better option. So how can you make sure that you don't lose any of your photos? Well, I've got good news for you. If you have the iPhone or device that you used to take those pictures and you haven't deleted those pictures from that device, then you've got them on that device. They aren't going to go anywhere. The only thing that's going away is this automatic sharing feature that would send those photos over to your other devices from the last 30 days, and that was it. So you're not gonna lose any photos. It's not an issue at all. So what can you do at this point? If you wanna have photo sharing, well, the most prominent alternative at this point is iCloud photo sharing. Uh, uh, sorry, iCloud Photos, that's what you should be using at this point, really. You know, this allows you to automatically store and sync up your photos across all your Apple devices and not just photos from the last 30 days. Uh, so you can access your entire photo library from your iPhone, iPad, Mac, or even over the iCloud website. I mean, I do this all the time. I look at pictures from 10 years ago, and we've been using this for a long time, using our iPhones for photos for a long time. And we're always looking at pictures from the past and I'll pull it up and boom, it drops right down onto my iPhone. Everything's stored up in the cloud. It is pretty seamless, pretty impressive. Uh, at this point, they've got this service tuned to uh, work really well. So if you want third party options because you don't wanna use Apple service for some reason, I mean, there's lots of options I won't go into here, but you've got Dropbox, uh, Google Photos, uh, Amazon Photos. I mean, there's a number of, of approaches you could take there. Um, you know, whatever suits your needs. I find it incredibly easy to pay for extra storage to make sure I can just upload my photos into Apple's iCloud service. If you're going to upload into the cloud through another service, you're going, going to have to pay for it anyway. So. Uh, you might as well do what's built in there if you have an iPhone or iPad. So very simple to use that service. It's quite versatile, um, very effective to save everything and be able to access it quickly. So uh, also be sure that you're backing up your devices. There's iCloud backup, which is, that's just the default. Go in there and turn that on. Uh, make sure you've got the storage space you need in iCloud to back up. Or you can use a service. I, I use a couple ways to back up. I use Time Machine to get a local backup. Uh, that's Apple's uh, feature built in on the Mac. Um, and I also use uh, Backblaze to back up. I'll put a link to Backblaze services. That's a totally separate service where I can send a backup of my Mac to the Backblaze servers, and it's always there. Uh, great service. I've got an affiliate link in the description below, and I've used them for many, many years. Great service. So that's it for today's video. I hope this has been helpful to you. Don't forget to like and subscribe, and uh, there'll be more tech-related content in the days ahead. And uh, feel free to leave any questions or comments that you have below. Thanks for watching. See you on the next one.